What is going on guys and welcome back to a brand new Deadman tournament. Deadman tournament number 6 or 7. I genuinely lost count. I have played every single season and tournament since the very start. And there's not many players who can actually say that. I'm sure you all know the drill by now. 5 days of straight grinding. The final hour. Everyone battles it out until there's one person remaining. And they win themselves $20,000. However this time it is very very different. They're spicing it up. When there's 200 players remaining... 50 people will go to four individual islands where they'll all battle it out with each other until there's one person remaining in each island. Then there'll be two 1v1s. Whoever wins those two 1v1s will battle it out in a 1v1 for the $20,000. So this could completely fail, but it could be insane. I'm sure a lot of you guys will know, but right now I am in what's called Dead Man Mansions, where there are two teams, two mansions. I'm currently in Team Lull. With Sick Nerd, Foe, Rexy, and Alfie rules. In the other house, Team CBS, we got Boaty, MMORPG, Soup, Framed, and Manked. And basically, we've got loads of challenges like the first to 100 combat, the first to a whip, the first to a fire cape. We all get points each, and um, you know, the, the team with the least points have to do forfeits, such as we can take any item from the other team. So if they get a whip, we can take that from them if they have the least points, stuff like that. However, we only have four days to play. The final hour is on Saturday night. We have to leave these mansions like Friday afternoon. So we literally only have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to play. Friday night is the RuneFest before party. And then all Saturday is the RuneFest. So I've only got four days to play. So yeah, it's kind of difficult. So I don't really know, I can't really be too high of a level because I'm literally missing out on like almost two days worth of playing, which is ridiculous. However, you guys know I love the seasons, that's where we properly PK. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this tournament. So the initial plan was we were going to PK in the first hour for people's 10k. So we needed to be one of the first to get the 5k, run back to Varrock, get a Staff of Fire, get our runes and get back to Barbarian Village where people are running back with 10k with pretty much one food like a bread and a shrimp however they were too slow like literally we were wait you have to be first like literally first otherwise it's not gonna work and yeah I was just waiting around and uh, this happened live was the dumbest thing ever <laughs> yo right. I killed him I killed where him good job where are nice. you, where are you, where are you? I'm at the G west side did you say nice West's on tracks, on tracks, keep hitting. He's dead, he's nice, dead. Nice, dead. Nice, nice. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Let's go. Free image. Look south, look south, look south, look south, look south, look south. Tubby, tubby, tubby. Level 7 combat, 7 combat. South, 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 southwest. Go over the bridge, go over the bridge, go over the bridge. No, leave him, leave him. Don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. Look south, look south. S power, S power, level 9, level 9. Game, 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 game. S power, going west, go west, go west, go west. Get him, get him, get him. Finish him off. Yes, nice. South, south, south. Calfister, Calfister. 12 combat. Southwest, southeast. Right, trade me, trade me. White top, Hurry white up, dog. who needs food? Trade me. Run, 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 east, run, 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 Oh shit man. Yeah, not the best of starts to save the least. Recently I've been having some really bad dead man starts. You know, PKing's a risky thing, it can pay off because literally you can PK people's 10Ks and make bank, which is ridiculous. But I'm not really wasting too much time. It's just that I've lost the 5K, which is a bit unfortunate. So uh, now, basically just get on the ground. We need to get ourselves an RPG and get ourselves protection press. Quick, quick. Where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go west. Let's go west. Let's give it a why fucking text west. A I don't understand why I can't get a bow. Oh, you just been won it! No, I'm not dying. See ya. I'm not dying. Let's go. Run, run, run. Run for your off. fucking you life. Move. I got the RPG. Oh my god, I could die here. I'm west, mate. Whereabouts are you? I got the RPG. I couldn't get it, man. I'm running all the way east. Back to You're the You're going bridge. east and I'm west. Fuck. Alright, there we go. We made it to the Falador Cows. Pretty good training spot because obviously most people will be around Lumbridge. There's a couple of cow fields there. We bought some kebabs in our carriage for 1GP. We desperately need to get some levels right now because there's definitely going to be some PKs coming here and uh, I am not safe at this level. We are slightly behind. We need to get some levels fast. And look who it is who tried to kill me. Money. Fortunately, we didn't die. Yay. Whilst I'm a low level, I may as well kill cows and pick up the cow hides because... We need to get 31 crafting anyway for Lost City, so I might as well tie it in whilst I'm training and hopefully not die in our carriage because, of course, it's multi. So, 
this could go terrible. 52 XP off 31 crafting. No point going to get one cowhide to go all the way back to our carry. I'll just buy it off the GE later. So now our plans are to get protection prayers so we can go and do monkey madness. So the fastest way of doing that is by killing chickens because you literally just one hit them. So it's like really, really easy bones. And we've got my skidler and rakes here. So it's just us three. Right, there we go. There's the first protection prayer unlocked, 37 prayer. That's really important because obviously early game, everyone's running around with magic. But it's getting to the point where range is pretty strong. And then obviously in a couple hours, people will be running around with DDSs. So we need to get 43 prayer ASAP. Stats looking pretty decent, actually. Just got ourselves 40 defense. So we got 40 base stats. 40 prayer. We are completely safe for now. Nobody has a DDS or anything. People just have a mage and ranged. Okay, I've killed way too many chickens. Yeah, I buried bones from chickens all the way to 43 prayer. Now it's time to do Monkey Madness Pre-Rex, which is Tree Nun Village and the Grand Tree. I got 6,700 feathers. So I'm hoping they're going to sell for 3 GP each because I need the money. I've never done this boss with 43 prayers. So it makes it so much easier. Uh, but yeah, just got 25 magic, which means we can teleport to Varok, which is going to be super helpful. Obviously, after this quest, we're also going to have access to spirit trees, teleporting around the game, and also run energy is so important. So what attack level are we going to get from that? There we go. Tree Gnome Village completed. So from here, we go to the Gnome Stronghold, and we start training agility to level 25, so we can do the Grand Tree. There we go, 25 agility. Let's go do the Grand Tree. And there we go, the Grand Tree quest completed. It's time to do Monkey Madness. Go, go, go! Oh no, she's got Protect Mage! You retard! What even was that? Why did we skill up on a patrol? Now we have to wait out our skull at the end of the tunnel. But it's okay though, because uh, Skid lasts me for a game of pool whilst we're losing our skull, so let's do that. Sylvester, come downstairs and play me a game of pool. And then, as I'm coming downstairs, he starts attacking me, and I don't even know. And then he left me on like 5 HP and then told me that I'm getting attacked. And there we go, Monkey Manners has been completed. However, before we get the stats for the Dragon Scimitar, I'm going to go ahead and do Lost City. There we go, Lost City requirements completed. We also did a bit of fire making because we're eventually going to need that for Desert Treasure. Lost City completed, going to go get myself a DDS and basically train for Warriors Guild stat, 65 attack, 65 strength, and for that I'm going to go to Hill Giants because we can get some giant keys in which we can kill Obo and hopefully get some rune pieces. So the first thing I did was to get 60 attack once we got the D sim is all power training from there, and we have finally got ourselves Warriors Guild stats on Hill Giants, 65 attack, 65 strength, and in the process I only got two giant keys, I was expecting a little bit more, maybe three or four, but it is time to kill Obo, and hopefully we can get some rune pieces, because that would be bank loot. Rune plate legs, like 70k, literally. Rune battle axe first kill. Could be worse, but could be a lot better, because obviously the other pieces, like the rune plate legs, the rune plate skirts and all that, the alt for 38k, but on the GE day one, like I said, 70k. Massive difference. 50 big bones. Probably one of the worst drops I could possibly get. Anyway, without further ado... Let's get ourselves to the Warriors Guild, and if you don't already know, they fixed the door trick. So, in previous seasons, well, every single season, you could go inside the Cyclops room, and after one minute, well, before one minute is up, you can leave the room, and you won't lose any tokens. However, they've fixed that. Every time you leave, you lose 10 tokens. So, we have to gather a lot of tokens, and uh, there's going to be a lot of people on the armor set. And, you know, obviously you can spec people out on the armor set, you can get three specs off and you can't do anything. So I have to protect melee every time I put down the armor set. We are investing a glory and a combat bracelet, very expensive, 70k each. But it's a little bit of an upgrade from the Adi and the Parami and the Mithril Kite Shield. And there we go, 1,500 Warriors Guild tokens have been achieved. It's time to get some defenders. Just did some AFK magic training, went all the way from like level 44 to 62, which means we can get the magic cape. We've got high alks for when we're in the dragon defender room because they drop like room meds and everything. So yeah, the plans right now, we need to go get ourselves a dragon defender and I'm sure there's probably some people there with ancients. So 
Yeah, maybe I've left it a little bit too late, but yeah, Dragon Defender, then probably Ancients, we'll have to see.